Welcome to the State Budget Edition of State House Rock. I'm Policy Specialist Ryan Roth. Governor Pritzker delivered his first budget address on Wednesday. The governor made many promises and proposed a number of new spending increases in the $39 billion budget. In the address, he vowed to introduce a capital bill this session with $17.7 billion in total capital appropriations, both new and reappropriated. $3.7 billion of that is in new capital appropriations with a focus on deferred maintenance projects. Of the new capital appropriations, $750 million would go to the Capital Development Board, $600 million for statewide facilities, and $150 million for higher education. $690 million to the Environmental Protection Agency for loans and grants for municipal water and environmental projects, $2.2 billion to the Department of Transportation, and $51 million for the Department of Natural Resources. He called for an increase in spending of early childhood education, ending at a possible universal preschool requirement, proposed a multi-part plan to reduce the pension debt, and promised to no longer hollow out state government services. Pritzker also called for a 5% increase in funding to community colleges and universities, as well as a funding increase in MAP grants. Governor Pritzker again reiterated his desire for a progressive income tax, calling the current structure regressive, saying an increase on the wealthy would result in a small reduction of taxes on the middle class. The governor has yet to propose details. New revenue options for FY 2020 include $170 million from the legalization of marijuana, $200 million from sports betting, and $390 million from a new tax on insurance companies to help cover Medicaid costs. The governor expects to bring in additional revenue by closing corporate tax loopholes, taxing e-cigarettes, cigarettes, plastic bags, phasing out the private school tax credit, implementing a progressive tax on video gaming, and capping the retailer's discount. The governor touted his recent signing of a minimum wage increase impacting 1.4 million Illinoisans and addressed the recent Aurora shooting. He promised to rebuild the Illinois State Police with two new cadet classes paid for by the recently enacted gun dealer licensing laws. He also called for common sense gun laws. This is Ryan Roth. Thank you for watching Statehouse Rock.